Hey, Steve, how do I find inactive pages on my site? Hey, Steve, how can I find all the ones that haven't been viewed or edited in a while? Well, if that sounds like you, I'm about to show you a new feature that can do this for you. Let's get into it. Normally, it takes commercial products to find uh, inactive content. I'm not going to say which commercial products because I'm not going to give them free advertising, but this can be part of a larger analytics solution or at least a larger analytics discussion, maybe finding uh, what, what pages are visited the most, which are visited the least, uh, what search terms people are looking for, some of that kind of stuff. And actually, some of those features are baked into this new a knowledge agent feature that we're kind of going to dive a little bit more into. I did cover this recently, and you'll see in a, a video just maybe a few weeks ago where I, I kind of covered all this. But we're going to go do a deep dive into how this thing works. You see, finding pages that have been forgotten or abandoned is really important in SharePoint, and especially in an AI world. Content needs to be kept up to date, ensuring that it's accurate and still helpful. So what happens when a page gets left behind, though? Think about that. So, well, you have two options that I, I think of right off the bat. Someone finds that page, but the information's wrong. Or someone asks Copilot, which is very relevant now, uh, about the information. And it returns the wrong answer because it, pay, it pulled that information from the outdated page. This newly announced knowledge agent in SharePoint has several features to help you with your site. And they're really powerful, but we're focusing on one of these in particular, the ability to find inactive pages. It makes it really, really easy. Let's switch to my desktop and take a look. So I'm on a test site right now, but I do have some inactive content. Here's where we're going to be looking. You're going to look at the bottom right-hand corner or the little SharePoint button here. It's floating on the page, so no matter where you scroll, it's still going to be on the bottom right. Uh, hopefully in the future, this is going to be uh, customizable so we can change the icon and do some little branding things on there. I think that'll be great. But this is the new knowledge agent. I covered this recently. I'll have a link towards the end of this, uh, straight to this this breakdown video I've, I've made recently of this. But what you're going to do is click on it. You'll see some options. Some uh, are there to benefit end users. Some are there for site owners. But we're going to click on improve this site. And you'll have a few options top is what we're looking for in this case, retire inactive pages. So we'll see there's four suggestions here. And if we click on it, it'll give us those pages and any uh, relevant information on here. In this case, no one has viewed or modified these pages since last year or since nine months ago. So it, it, it will vary depending on that, but it gives you important context to know if these pages are, you know, if if, if it has been viewed since last year, this is the end of 2025. That page probably can be deleted, right? I would think so. So you have options here for this. You can retire the page. That's the default option. I'll cover what retirement means because it's something kind of new. But if we hit the drop down, we could just simply delete the page as well. So if you just want to nuke it right off of the site and not have to worry about it anymore, then that's your best option but you could also click on this to view the page. That'll keep this little sidecar here with the knowledge agent. It'll keep it up on the page, but it'll navigate over to the page in question. You could also snooze this reminder, kind of alarm clock style or outlook meeting invite style, so that it'll remind you again later on the next time you go into this section of the knowledge agent on this site. And then if it's, you can have a few of the options here, uh, but you could also, just tell it, don't ever show this again for this page. This page, maybe it's a, a special evergreen page. And even though it may not be viewed often, the content is always still up to date because maybe it's company values or something like that. And you just want to make sure this alert never pops up again for this page. You can do that as well. But let's talk about what retirement actually means in SharePoint. It, it seems like it's a brand new concept. I'm not that familiar with this, but retiring a page will deprioritize it from search results. So if someone's using SharePoint search or Microsoft search, it lowers the relevancy ranking, I believe in that, so that it's not going to come up at the top of the page. It may still show up, but it'll be much, much lower down because if this page is retired, then there's probably fresher content that should come above that. 
but it also makes it deprioritized with Copilot and agent results so that agents aren't going to return this page as often as it currently is. But it does keep the URL active, so the page is actually still active. It's not being deleted. It's not going to eventually delete it. It is still going to be on you to go back and delete it at some point. But it does keep the page active for a while, and it adds a banner to the page. So if we were to click on retire, uh, we, oh, this un unpublished changes, so yeah, I'll just publish and retire. And then we go to view this page. Then when this comes up, yeah, you can see it's a test page. When it, when it comes up, you will see a banner across the top here. Let me refresh this. And the banner is going to indicate to the user that the page is in retirement. Okay, it removed it. I probably should have viewed it before I hit that retire button. Um, let's make sure we're on this right page. Okay, well, now, now we're on this one. Can we navigate back? Okay, so there's probably some little nuances to this that Microsoft will have to work out so that maybe it doesn't count as a view if you're viewing it through the knowledge agent because we should be able to view these first without it counting as a view so that we can assess the content and then decide if we're going to retire, delete, or snooze or just never show again. Right now, if you view it, it's going to count as a view. So it, it is a little tricky if you're going to view it, but you also still want to take action. Let's do this. I'm just going to retire the editorial cards page. And then I'm going to navigate to that page. And before we go check this page, we're going to, I'm going to show one other feature. This is kind of a hidden feature, how this retirement system is working behind the scenes. So I retired the editorial cards page. If we go to details, there's a new field that's on the site pages library and it's called is retired. So if you retire a page through the knowledge agent, or actually you probably just set it right here, then that will set that retirement flag. It also is the only way I'm aware of you can bring it out of retirement. So something didn't happen correctly with that knowledge agent. It didn't retire the page properly because we see is retired has no value yet. So we want to check this box. Now the page is retired. In fact, I could go over here to another page and I could just set that over here without even using the knowledge agent. But now let's go back to the editorial cards page and you see the banner right at the top. So this wouldn't have come up if I hadn't manually checked that box because, again, the knowledge agent, currently it's in public preview. I'll get more into that. But you can still expect some bugs. Right now, there's, there's definitely some bugs here. But for the most part, it works really well. But this page is not being maintained. That's what this banner says. The content may be out of date. So it does warn a user that they may want to not believe everything they see on this page it may be outdated or as i think users will come to learn this banner means that the page is probably on its way to being deleted uh, some at some point in the future so let's talk about the availability of the knowledge agent and this feature finding inactive content but first, if you've gotten this far, then click that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you can get more up-to-date videos on all these new SharePoint features coming out, all these, all this Copilot integration and, and all that, because that's what I'm covering a ton of on my channel. I've got a lot of videos that I've been making over the years to teach you things like PNP Modern Search, JSON formatting. So please click that like button and subscribe. And now let's talk about the availability because the knowledge agent is brand freaking new. I'm telling you, this thing is brand new. It's in public preview right now. So depending on your tenant settings, you may already have this available and you may not. Now it is tied to your M365 Copilot license because these are kind of, these are AI, AI features. Uh, so it, if you have that license, you should start to look for this. It will begin a broader rollout in January of 2026. So if you're watching this video at, at in January or after, you should be expecting to see this very, very soon. 
If you don't have a Copilot license, you won't have access to this because, again, there, there's AI processing happening behind the scenes and keeping things up to date. There's a lot of great features in this as well to like automatically fill out your metadata fields for you. Uh, just a lot of time-saving features in here. So look for that feature. I've also got a link uh, to the roadmap item uh, down in the video description below so that you can track where this thing is because sometimes Microsoft does. They change the timelines of when features are rolling out, uh, things like that. Things can happen. So you have a roadmap item to go directly to their roadmap and know all the latest information. Now, there's a bunch of other features in this knowledge agent you could start to explore. But if you want to learn them all quickly, I've got just the video for you. You can get started with it by clicking or tapping the screen and I'll see you over there.